Hey everybody, this is Kalutha. Good morning. I wanted to start something new today. I originally started this uh, channel to keep in touch with family and especially my kids. Uh, but now I want to branch out. So this is something else that I want to do. And this is called, uh, it's, this book is called What I Know Now, Letters to My Younger Self. Extra, extraordinary women share the wisdom they wish they had when they were younger. How about that? So this one that I chose to do today is Learn to Say No. And this is from Heather Mills McCartney, and she's an activist. Heather Mills McCartney. So if you have this book, What I, what I Know Now, um, it's page 91, okay? If all you know about Heather Mills McCartney is that she married the cute beetle, it would be easy to dismiss her activism as the short-lived, millimeter-deep variety embraced by some celebrities. But as her letter suggests, compassion was knit into Heather's character during childhood. Her mother split from her father when Heather was nine. I think this is the uh, lady who has the prosthetic leg. And I believe her and, and Paul are now divorced. Okay. So she says, um, her mother split from her father when Heather was nine, leaving her and her siblings, older brother Shane and younger sister Fiona, to take the brunt of her her authoritarian father's verbal and physical abuse. After her father landed in prison, uh, when she was a teenager, Heather moved to London to live with her mother, but she left home soon after. Over the years, she worked in a carnival as a cleaner and ride op operator in a jewelry store, behind a wine bar, at a tanning salon, and for a time lived roughly under the arches, arches of the Waterloo Bridge, so she was homeless. This bumpy beginning fueled Heather's resolve to succeed on her own. She became a distributor of two products. Maybe this is somebody different. I don't know. Okay. She became a distributor of two products, built them into small businesses, and sold them, all while launching a modeling career. Okay, so this is her. After marrying in 1981, 1989 at 21, she started a successful modeling and photographer's agency, which she later sold. Even as she established herself, she frequently reached out to poor, abused, or needy people she came across. If I'm on the street and see a person in need, I'm the person who goes over to help. It's something I must do, says Heather. After a divorce in her early 20s, Heather settled in northern Yugoslavia, now Slovenia. That's where Melania is from, which was rent by civil war in 1991. So, uh, 30 years ago, um, not 30 years ago, yeah, 30 years ago, was, was to, to 2020 minus 1991, 29, yeah, 29, 30 years ago. Seeing the effects of this firsthand, Heather modeled to raise funds for refugee centers hospitals, and homes for war victims, eventually moving back to London. Then one summer day in 1993, it just sounds like a fairy tale. Then one summer day back in 1993, a police motorcycle crashed into her, crushing ribs, puncturing a lung, and fracturing her pelvis, and causing her to lose her left leg below the knee. This is Paul McCartney's ex-wife. <sighs> the stump was slow to heal and required a second amputation of several inches. When it finally did mend, Heather characteristically decided this particular piece of adversity was sent her way so that 
she could become a charitable supplier of artificial limbs to amputees, particularly landmine and war victims. Her work was, has helped thousands of adults and children around the world, and it led Heather to campaign for landmine removal, just like Princess Diana and then uh, Prince Harry and Meghan took up the mantle. Uh, but now that Harry and Meghan have stepped back, I don't know who's doing this work. I guess it'll fall on uh, William and Kate or some other, you know, some other royals, okay? Her work has helped thousands of adults and children around the world, and it led Heather to campaign for landmine removal. Her achievements in Cro Croatia and in Pompeii, Cambodia, earned her a 1996 Nobel Prize nomination, as well as other awards and recognition. Heather and her husband, Paul McCartney, became patrons of Adopt a Minefield, which aims to raise enough funds to clear all minefields in the world. Her letter is written to herself between the ages of 17 and 20. Dear H, learn to say no. From the day your mom left you as a child and your father controlled and abused your life, you've been on a mission to save each and every disadvantaged person you come across. You got into a brawl to protect a bullied, acne-covered teenager at school, and it led to your own suspension. You repeatedly went to the rescue of a violently abused mother down the street, but she never left her abusive husband. You feel physically compelled to help others down to the sensation in your stomach. Helping is good. It's important. But at what cost? Hours, days, and weeks away from your family and friends. Find a balance. Choose whom you say yes to and whom you say no to. Giving yourself completely can be damaging to you and your family. Never give up that drive and passion to help, but don't always prioritize a stranger in need over your own family. I'm going to say that again. Never give up that drive and passion to help, but don't always prioritize a stranger in need over your own family. Try helping that person once, maybe twice, but don't give up your house to move them in disrupting everyone else's life in the household. Do what you're doing because it does make a difference. At the same time, remember that some people need help, but that they must also learn to help themselves. Some can even resent you for your know-it-all attitude. What's helpful to them one day can be Miss Bossy Boots the next. So go ahead and learn to say no sometimes. You should stand by someone for a certain amount of time. But if all they do is take, 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 and take, you have to let go and get rid of the vampires. Stop being their savior and be your own. Equilibrium in life is everything. Love yourself. All right? So that was page 91, um, and that was uh, Heather Mills McCartney's letter to her younger self. All right, so let me know what y'all think in the comments below, and like this video, subscribe to this channel, share this video, and uh, I appreciate you. Help me to um, increase this channel. Please send your comments and questions and requests into me, and I will do it for you. Okay? Thank you so much, and have a great day.